everyone, I'm Cassie Yang. Welcome back. Today's video is about how to practice vibrato on the arhu. Why is vibrato important? Vibrato will warm your sound, help you center your pitch, help you project your sound. If you correctly do not play with vibrato, vibrato will finally give you that much sound that you have always wanted. Do not think vibrato is too hard. I have some practice techniques that will work very well for any type of vibrato. First, relax your wrist and move the back of your hand up, then pull down, like this. Move up, pull down. Move up, pull down. Second, please use metronome because metronome is perfection and will give you the structure that you need in order to keep your vibrato will eventually give you the control that you want. Put the metronome at 65 beats per minute. This beat will be your primary beat. You will use four bells per finger and your finger pattern will be la, si, do, then back down, do, si, la. Vibrate your finger at eight notes for four beats on the down bow and up bow. Vibrate your finger at 16 notes for four beats on the down bow and up bow, like this. this procedure for every finger and do this pattern on A and D3. I suggest starting on the A string, then D3. Let's try 90 speed. until you get to about 130. vibrato as wide as possible, especially when it's slow. It will get narrower and narrower the faster you go. You don't want to sound like a bosom bee by the time you end up at your target speed of 130. When vibrating, the vibrato starts at the intended pitch and vibrates above and back down to the intended pitch. Do not start the vibrato below the pitch and the vibrato up to the intended pitch. Hope this helps you. See you soon.